Oh man, y'all ask for it. Y'all been seeing them all over the internet. Y'all been seeing them on every platform but Say Cheese. Um, I reached out to him before the viralness a, a month ago. And, uh, they saw me on this before. Don't do that. Huh? They saw me on Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got to let them know that, you know, you back, though. You saying recently. Quilly. You saying recently. Yeah, yeah, right recently. Now. Yeah, recently. But I hit you up a month ago before the viralness. Yes, you, you did. Remember that? Yes, you yeah. did. Actually, two two months ago. Two months ago. Yeah. Two months ago, man. Well, Quilly Mills is in the, well, Quilly is in the building, yeah, man. I was about to say, don't put the, don't do <laughs> don't, the old no more Mills. Mills on it. Come on, man. <laughs> man, you how you been, man? Drink, man? Here, I'm, I'm good, man. It's feeling good, man. Yeah. On, on, a tour, on a world tour, just talking my shit, man. Every region. East Coast, Coming, West yeah, Coast, yeah. now you down south. I just left the West Coast. Now I'm down Texas, man. Dallas, Texas. Like, yeah. it's, it feel like the night. What you say? It feel like the 90s in Philly right now. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, just walking around, yeah. feeling like everything. You know what I mean? It feel good down there, yeah. you know? I was with you earlier, too. And multiple people walked up to you. Quilly! Like, how that feel? Like... In a whole different it's region. Hum, it's, hum, it's humbling. It's humbling. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't want to sound cocky like I'm supposed to, you know. But it's like everybody see me everywhere, so it's like it's like they knew me before, but it's like now it's like yo, this nigga everywhere. So it's like you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like natural, like you know right. what I mean? That shit feel good, bro. Right now, I love it. You just started to know Diddy. Yes, I just uh, uploaded the website too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it all over the place online. We, we got some sauce on there too, like high sauce in here. Like we got sauce on the website, bro. Like it's wavy shit. It ain't just mm -hmm. like saying it. No Diddy on the joint. Some shit you would want to wear, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. And you just put in the trademark. Uh, yes, yes. You right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they get, have all the paperwork right. We doing everything right, man. Yeah. We ain't half stepping shit and you know doing it on some hood shit and all that. No, we. We going about shit the right way yeah. this time, man. You know so you mean? just came up with the shit, just no Diddy. No Diddy. Because it's like <laughs> niggas were saying Pauls and Jack and Cam and Mace John. Now I got Cam and Mace saying no Diddy. Mm. Well, I so instead of saying no or yeah. Pauls, it's just. Yeah, that's just like, it's just outdated. Yeah. You know, I'm an innovator. I make up a lot of, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's just, it was time for something new. And I want to put this out there too. Mm. The, the wave shit. Is that Max B shit or is that Quilly shit? <sighs> Okay, so Max B made up, I'm not gonna lie. Max B made up, you know, the wave and all that. But he went to jail for so long, right? That when I started saying it, it just, people attached to me with the wave and the wave lord and being wavy and, you know what I mean? Saying, just saying that, that phrase, they attached it to me. Right. Rather than attaching it to, you know, Max B type mm -hmm. shit. You feel me? Right. But we all know who started the wave and all that. Yeah. I just, you know, made it more relevant and just was rocking with it. They was jacking me for the wave. Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? Man, you look real healthy. Shout right out to now Max too. B too. You Pause. Like no Diddy. No, no Diddy. No you Diddy. Look, bro, you look the real compliment right and now. see niggas don't understand, bro. The compliment, you know, your black brother, man. We we brothers, yeah. bro. So you know, you just giving me a compliment. You look good. Your shit. You know what I mean? We yeah. shimmering and all that, like shit, nice and all clean. You know what I mean? Yeah. Melanin. You know what I mean? Glowing and all that. That's how it's supposed to be, bro. Mm -hmm. I stopped the 30s, drinking lean, right. all that, bro. Because it was a period of time where, you know, it was documentaries about you losing weight. Yeah. I mean, it was it was videos of you looking real slim, like people were really concerned about you. But then it was a lot of jokes, too. Yeah. You know, it was a lot yeah. of jokes. And um, it was a time where you didn't own up to your drug usage, too. Mm -hmm. You used to always say it was for certain reasons or you never addressed it. It was right. like something you would just ignore. Right. But it was clearly something wrong with you. And you want to know what else I blamed it on? Right after I got shot, I leaned on that. That was my excuse. Perks. Perks. Oh, you know, the pain and all. I just got shot. And so right after that time, it's like, you know, I was just, like you say, using it as an excuse not owning up, not being a man of, you know, mm -hmm. I need help and, you know, just shit like that, bro. So when you that got- That shit crazy though, bro. Like that, like, yeah. that's, a, that's a fight, and bro. And little that do shit. people know, the world is on perks now, but Philly been on perks for years, <sighs> decades. We started that shit. Like we, since Beans made Purple Rain and all mm -hmm. that from back Rockefeller days and all that, like we, and I don't want to make it seem like, cause I know it's kids watching this shit. I'm not glorifying this shit as y'all can see, like, that big ass sigh, that big ass sigh of relief I just did from me being clean. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. off of this shit, like that shit was like 
a struggle. Mm. That shit, you go through a lot, bro. Detoxing and all that shit and all that keep throwing up and all that shit, bro. That shit is sad. Yeah. You feel me? But you know, I'm right here. I'm clean. I'm right. looking good. So you get shot. I don't, you know, that's the past. You get yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah. And then you get, I mean, you get prescription. That's when they, see, that's the that's the government. That's how they try to get you, not try to get you hooked. That's how they get you hooked. You know, mm. it's easy, bro. You can fuck around and trip down the steps and go to the doctor, and they're gonna give you a script of Jones. You gonna have the tickets. They mm. gonna give you 120. Not start you off at 30s. You gonna get 10s, then 15s, then gradually to 30s. Mm. But the government want to get you on it. You know what I mean? That's just giving a game to the kids too. I'm gonna look at this going on. That's giving a game to the youth. You know what I mean? Mm. Letting y'all know. So don't fall into that trick, man. Work out if you got. You know what I mean? Go running, whatever you gotta do, man. You know what I mean? God forbid anybody get shot, but. Don't let them trick y'all in that, you know, getting scripts and getting hooked on perks, man. Yeah. So you get shot out. What are you taking at the time? Are you taking 10s, 15s, 30s? Yeah, they, they started me off with the pinkies. Yeah. They what's started the, me the, off with the, the pinkies. The, 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 the tens. tens. The tens. Okay. Yeah. They started me off with the tens. Yep. And then from the tens, it's like you keep popping them. It's like, yo, I'm popping so many of these. Damn, wow. If I'm popping th three of these, four of these, up my dosage. Mm. Y'all giving me, you understand what I'm saying? Mm. And that's how it go. And then you keep going up and going up and going up. How many are you doing a day? Man, I was in, this shit embarrassing, bro. I don't even want, we yeah. keeping it real though, but you know Yeah, I mean? and we just, you know, yeah, I just yeah, want you to tell your story. I'm not trying to, yeah, you know, nigga, embarrass you or anything. Yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, but I'm saying this shit is embarrassing. Yeah. Just because I don't want to have the young boys think, you know, niggas glorifying mm. getting right. high. That's not thorough. But I was up to six, seven Jones a day, bro. Thirties, bro. I'm talking about drinking a four with it, you know, a mm. four, a four of the watt. And if the red around, I grab a deuce of the red of the high tech. You know what I mean? Mm. I don't even want to think about that shit. I ain't that shit. Mm. Crit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's that bad. You spending thousands. Mm. This with this ain't no deal, no none of that. This is just grinding up. You feel what I'm saying? We spending thousands and we ain't even millionaires. It's to the point to where you working the, just to get high. How the fuck is you spending thousands and you're not even a millionaire? So you're spending thousands on something daily and you're not even a millionaire. Mm. The fuck? Mm. Shit crazy, bro. Now you got a team around you too. What yeah. are they, I know they're trying to slow you down and talk to you and shit like yeah. that. What are you yeah. telling them? You talking to me like I'm on this shit right now. Let's back. <laughs> Yo, this nigga funny as shit. Don't talk to me like I'm on this shit now. Make it tell these motherfuckers. Come on, bloody. Don't do yeah, that. Yeah, no, nah, I got you. I got <laughs> he, Look, even when I walk back in off the gas, he like, you cool. You ain't too out. Nigga, I ain't on dog. He made it seem like I just hit my arm with some dogs or something. Like, I just fucking Ray Charles or something. Bloody, we ain't on. Oh. No, nah, I feel you. But guess what? That's what it leads to. Taking them 30s, after you don't, after the 30s, don't get you high. You want dope. <clears throat> you want dog, bro. Like a regular nigga, a regular motherfucker, be on dope. Like how they is down in Louisiana, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Real shit. You know Kensington. You know yeah. how Kensington is, bro. Yeah. They more so fiends, but I'm talking about regular motherfuckers like us. Bro. It almost got to that point? No, fuck no, no, yeah. no. I ain't never hit no. I ain't never do no dog. You can't play me. Like, no, no. no. <laughs> you I, me to I get the dog. How, I just want to see how bad it that really. Don't ask me that on camera. <laughs> 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 this nigga ain't asked me if it ever got the dog. Like I was up to six or seven drinks, but I ain't never think about hitting the drain or none of that or going up top with so, the dog. So, so what, what? What was the last straw? The last straw was just like, damn. When is it going to stop? You know, to me, not to nobody else, to me, like, yo, it's like years and years of like, what the fuck? Like, mm. we grown. Got kids, what the fuck you mean? You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Like, it's maturity, bro. Mm. And that's what I just feel, is it? You know what I mean? Just want to just say, a new page, you feel me? Like, a new chapter. Mm. Now look at this shit. Cold what turkey? Uh, for the for the first half, I ain't gonna lie, for the first half, what they got in Philly is Suboxone, and everybody, everybody know about Suboxone. Yeah. So you take a little bit of those, you wean off of those, because you don't, that's another government zone that you can get addicted to as well. And then they got methadone, but that's when you want dog. You take the methadone, you feel me? Patches, shots, and all that. 
So you took the, uh, I was doing the subs for a little bit, and then I just went cold turkey, and then, you know, it's done. Right. That lean shit crazy, though, because the lean, you would be like, remember how Ray Charles was in the movie? Mm. Like, the lean would really have you throwing the fuck up because you're drinking it. You're you're constantly drinking lean. It's not nothing that you're popping or chewing. You're drinking it. So back to back, you would just be throwing up. You feel mm. me? Trying to wean yourself off and detox, I'm saying. Right. You know what I mean? So the lean is worse than the pills. Mm. Yeah. It seems like Future got the the whole world on perks now. Yeah, it's fucked up. That's why I keep looking at this camera telling the kids not to do drugs and, you know, fuck the thir- fuck perks, fuck lean, fuck all that shit. Get some good gas. Mm. You know what I mean? That's I'm telling you, get some good gas. And I ain't saying that. I don't want the youngest to just be blowing all in middle school and all that. <laughs> but I rather you understand, I rather gas than you feel me? Yeah. Real shit. That's how that shit get dark, bro. Like real yeah. shit, no, but it ain't never come to me being down K and A, Kensington, and all yeah. that, and you know, ready to hit a needle, put a needle in my. It ain't come to that, yeah. you know. Yeah. My shawl law through the grace of God. You right. feel me? I'm, I'm glad you here, man. You know, people don't mm-hmm. know if you go on Twitter and search my name and with Quilly, I used to like before say cheese. I used to tweet you damn near every day because mm-hmm. you used to bull. You you were so inconsistent, like. Mm-hmm. You would drop, you would do the vlog shit, announce uh, that a tape will come out, and it wouldn't come dry out. Dry drop. Yeah. Dry drop. So you would do that on no, purpose? No diddy, no diddy. No but diddy. But dry dropping. Uh, that that builds the, sh- I don't want to give my sauce away, but that builds the shock value of something, you know? So if you give yourself away too much, no diddy, then you're oversaturating yourself. <laughs> if you, now I'm trying to be serious and you laughing. I ain't, if you if you giving yourself away too much, you're oversaturating yourself. Right. You know. So I know the time to strike, and I know the time to my wife and kids. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Put put my feet up, mm. we'll fall back off the ground. No, I ain't. I'm chilling. Mm. Then I know the time to <clears throat> I'm on it. You understand what I'm saying? I just know the algorithm. I know how to. I just you know like crack the I crack the code of the internet like in, mm. the, in my in my way the my algorithm that got me touring the motherfucking nation you right. understand what I'm saying yeah. type shit out of the whole DVD era you're the only one that's still relevant because of the internet you have to learn the internet some people don't know the internet if you don't know the internet you won't last everything is computers. You know what I mean? Down to the Bitcoin shit, down to me just saying no diddy and that going viral and me trademarking it. And then now I just said, I just uploaded the merchandise. Mm-hmm. My sauce, my drip is around the world. You understand what I'm saying? Like right. as we speak. The same way I, I said, damn, you got the post up on the Stevie J shit. You ain't even got your phone in your hand. Stevie J just went at uh 50 and all mm-hmm. that. You ain't even got your, yeah, your team working. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So it ain't just me, bro. It's my team, bro. You know yeah, what I mean? I'm just, I'm and just, you gotta know that algorithm. Right. You gotta know that internet, bro. You gotta know when it. You know what I mean? Just like I said with that joint, you like, oh, we do next week. No, fuck next week and all. You doing that shit right now, bro? Right. I'm hot right now. Let's do this shit right now, bro. We ain't got next week, bro. Mm. Next week ain't promised. Let's let's knock this shit out now. Yeah. Not to rush the joint like I'm rushing and all that, but bro, we on fire now. Mm-hmm. Let's get this shit out the way. Let's ball. Yeah. It, viral. It, it's good to see you get your flowers, man, because you've been hot in Philly for over ten, over 15, 20 yeah, years. Yeah, niggas all teeth and palms right now. And a lot this of people, because I was watching the, the academics interview, and a lot of people are commenting shit, like, you just some new rapper hating on Meek, but it's real history yeah, you behind know that. that. Yeah, you know that. He said it on the job. Come yeah. on, bro. I don't even, we ain't got to go there. You mm. feel me? He spoke one on yeah. man. And you know, academics started the Freak Mill shit, but little do they know, years and years ago, you had a song called Freak Mills. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I right, see, you thorough because a motherfucker would have said that I was jacking that. Mm. No diddy. But you letting them know, like, he ain't jacking that. He been came out with, he been the innovator, one making up all of phrases, catchphrases and words and all this new shit and all that. Like, you letting them know, bro. Like, mm. And that just made it go viral again. Something that was old as shit. It just came back out. Look mm. at that. It's timeless. It's about the time of the internet, the algorithm. No one wanna strike. You know what I mean? You feel like Meek Mill never wanted to see you eat. <laughs> 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 oh, 
I'm serious. <laughs> no, no, because it's like you get you get serious when I'm serious on my <laughs> shit. <laughs> when I get this serious, I'm just you want to play. I'm just, I'm just riding your wave, man. Nah, right, so no Diddy, no Diddy, but yes, no for Diddy sure, shit is crazy. for sure, because you know, is 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 evident. You could easily just you know. Eat or oot, and you know what I mean. We ain't gotta go there, but it's evident, bro, for sure. Anyway, but me can't eat. save everybody, though. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And you don't owe anyone anything. Yeah. Yeah, but if you tell a motherfucker something, then if showing, if I tell you I'm coming down here and I'm about to not got an interview, mm. and then it don't happen, cause I got, cause, cause, cause fucking Joe Rogan just called me. Then what am I? Mm. I'm not honorable. I went to Joe Rogan when I already promised you that I was coming down this door. And you calling my phone and all, and I ain't even hitting you back. I ain't returning drinks or none of that. It's dick up. I ain't even, you feel me? No diddy. Hmm. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just curving the shit out with you. Yeah. I went to Joe Rogan, John. Right? That's corny. And that shit. I don't do that, bro. We thorough. Come on, bro. I don't be hitting the lid for nothing. Hmm. You know, I don't, bro. Now, maybe when I was, you know, in my element, shot it. Yeah. When I had six in me and four in me, six and four, and on level 94, you know? But he did sign Louis, uh, what was his name? Uh, you can't even remember. <laughs> look, look, look. He signed who? Look, look. It don't even matter because they're not relevant in 2024, but go ahead and talk about it. The Louis dude. You about to make it relevant. Go ahead, huh? The Louis, Louis dude. Look, who the fuck is the Louis dude? Lee, Ma- what, was Lee Mason? The what? It's two thousand. He signed. He signed some Philly artists too, though. He put some Philly artists. He gave him an ch- opportunity. I'm just playing devil, devil's av- advocate. So what would have happened if I would have been in that situation? I feel the like they dropped the dream, ball. The dream chasers would have been motherfucking Rockefeller and state but, property in motherfucking two thousand and two. Fuck, is you talking about? But I'm saying been there right now. He put people in position and they dropped the ball. No, did he? He did put people in position. But that he the liked. Right, the, yeah, that he liked, and they weren't the right people. You going outside the box. Rest in peace, Lil Snoop and all of them. And I, you know what I mean? Lil Snoop was hot. Yeah, but you going to the bottom of Louisiana. Why matter where they from? Man, you got to go to the bottom of Louisiana. You, nigga, we up top. We right in the same bitty. We in the same city. And um, not just is, is it any artist, it's the hottest artist in Philadelphia. Man, what was the at Louis? That what time, was, what was his at name? this time? You don't Google it. If you can, <laughs> if you gotta do all that, if you gotta go Googling all that, man, that shit don't it ain't relevant in 2020, 2024. Yeah. If you gotta do all that, Googling and all that, you don't know them niggas' names. Mm. I'm in front of your face right now. That's the only shit that matter right now. Quilly and Sean Cotton, Say Cheese TV. Mm. You about to go Google something, bro. The Louis dude and this dude and Gucci man and all this man and brother for lamb for lamb. We don't know none of them niggas, bro. It's 2024, bro. I'm on fire right now, bro. You really was trying to Google niggas that he signed and all that shit don't matter. And like I said, it's no disrespect. Rest in peace, Snoop. Yeah. And it, like you said, it don't matter they went to Louisiana. But I'm hot as shit in Philadelphia back then and right now. Mm. Bro, I fuck around and might sell more fucking albums than him on a 4800 joint mm. with the whole, you know what I mean, Jane? Mm. Come on, bro. Some independent shit. Really independent. From the, from the mud. It's hard to say what, when you're the hottest in the city and everybody's in your ear, you got friends wanting money, you got family wanting money, you got niggas that want to be put on, everybody reaching to you, everybody wanting something from you. It's hard to say what you would do. <clears throat> It's hard, and I'm not pro Meek Mill, but it's just like being at the top is hard being at the top and everybody wanting something. For sure. I everybody, know. you can't make everybody happy. For sure. I just know it would be an easy decision to sign a hot motherfucker from my city. Just like this motherfucker right here that I'm about to call right here. Throw shit like this. Look, look how easy this is. Huh? This, I'm on fire, right? Mm. This is an up and coming rapper in Philadelphia. Mm. But you understand what I'm saying? Look how hungry, look how, look at the pain, look at the passion. He saw Sean and that shit turned in, ah, ah, ah. 
you can stand over the time, motherfucker. But when you see Sean Cotton on Say Cheese TV, that shit is. <gasps> but you can spit. Don't get none of that. Don't get none of this on camera. This the this, realest, this real but, shit, but, though. But I don't want him to go federal. He on house arrest. That's I just don't. You feel yeah. me? We can just take that little part out. Yeah, Victoria. You know what I mean? It's the passion. It's, it's the passion. It's the pain. That's real. That's organic. You can't pay for that moment. Mm. Philadelphia, bro, that shit a jungle, bro. My feet on the land, bro. That's the mud right there. Yeah. Oh, man. It don't take much to do that, bro. It ain't take nothing away from my candle to get his joint lit, bro. No biddy. That shit ain't even funny, bro. This shit corny, bro. Niggas making excuses for cuz and all that. Don't do that, bro. You said I'm making excuses for me? You making excuses, bro. Making it seem like I'm one of them mad rappers of wearing this shit. Like, niggas don't know. No, I don't think you're a mad rapper. Like, <laughs> like no, 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 no. Like I said, I, I know shit from... I watched this shit from day one, but what I'm saying is people saw the academics interview mm -hmm. and thought you were just some new mad rapper. Okay. They wanted a handout. Okay, right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, right. So you want to clarify yeah. that? Like, oh no, this shit been, yeah. Right. Right. You reached out to me for a feature and he charged you 70,000? 75. 75. No video. No video. Mm -mm, just the verse. He told you that or management? He did. Directly. And bloody let you know. How'd that make you feel? I like doing what I'm doing right now. Drinking him, bullying him, picking on him. <laughs> Same thing everybody else in the whole world doing. I just was doing it 15 years ago. And I'm doing it right now. And the whole world doing it right now. Yeah. yeah. I, always, I always felt like you were a better rapper than Meek. Thank you. I appreciate I, I really that. feel like that. I feel like um, the whole Hain Street Hustler series and the New Wave series... Wrapped out, I feel like Meek has never put anything near wrapped out. Hopefully. That body of work right there. I appreciate it. And that, I fuck man. with Meek though, but I just feel like you're the better rapper. Mm. And he'll probably I'm never getting a Meek interview anymore. So I wanna put if all once this, he sees this, I'm never getting a Meek man, interview. Man, fuck that. Yeah. I put all we could we could put all this I put, I revamp all that music that you saying, because the kids didn't hear none of that. Mm. I revamp all that and put all that shit out right now, bro. You just you just like gave me an idea, bro. Just because they didn't like, hear where's, it, bro. Like, there's, that shit, none of the Hang Streets, I mean, well, Hang Street Hustler 1 through 4 is not on streaming. Mm -hmm. And wrapped out, I mean, because you used to always rap over people's beats, but you never tried to get them cleared? What happened? Did they strip them, or are they, or are they, or are they on? Because, like, it's no more Dat Piff. Yeah, I'm about it's to no say It's no more yeah. live mixtapes. It's like, yeah. when I want to go listen to Hang Street Hustler 3, it's like, I can't, I got to go mm -hmm. to YouTube. And it ain't, it ain't and even all the records. This is the best equivalent. And see if a nigga put it up on his channel type mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, all that Like, won't y'all just put all that old shit on YouTube and just let it do what it do? Yeah. That's what I was saying. That's yeah. what I was just saying type shit. Like, yeah. And then what's That'll up? What's up with Wrapped Out too, man? You've been capping about that for years, too. I don't know. See, that's just, like I shit like, like that is like yeah. dropping the ball. No, but like that was you right. That's twenty. Listen, that's twenty nine. I did twenty nine songs right with no features. That that was back then. Motherfuckers' attention spans right now ain't ready for twenty nine songs, bro. Ain't nobody. You can't do that right now. You got to carry it. You you got to drop singles. You got to drop shit with you know nine tracks on there, maybe eleven at the most. Ain't nobody listening to no you know twenty nine track drink, you know bro. What I mean? If you, with, with all the eyes on you right now, if you was to drop Wrapped Out 2, right now. How many tracks? 12. That's what I'm saying. 12 now, now, hard now, tracks. Yeah, that's what that's what makes sense. Some uh, shit like uh, that. Uh, I thought you were saying back in the day, like, it was No, no, I'm talking about right, right now. now. I'm just yeah. saying that you can't let this moment go. You can't, because you know, you know no. how social media is. Every day is something new. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, don't drop the ball, bro. Yeah. What would I tell you? I know I catch that. You feel me? Yeah. Crack the Da Vinci code. Mm. No bullshit, bro. So are we ever getting the wrapped out too? You just gave me an idea for it. Every idea you Every give me, interview I'm, you you say I give you an idea, you don't do it. Put this in the books. I'm wrapped out too. Sean Cotton won it. And we're gonna put it the on. The streets won it, and, though. And I give it to you. I I put it on your platform since you, you know what I mean? I'll let say cheese back the drone. And we, we do it. And we do it. Don't like say that, that on camera if we ain't. Gonna I'll let say cheese back. I'm wrapped out too, bro. <laughs> twelve tracks, twelve original tracks. 
we go ahead and talk the business and the yeah. splits. I'm just saying that. on Apple Music, that shit would go top 10 on the charts easy. It would. It would. And then you don't shoot. I don't know why I'm getting on you like that, man. I know it's a lot why, of shit you no, do. No, I just, wanted you to do that. It's a lot of shit you I do that you, make me mad. I like, wanted you to do that. You don't this, shoot though. music videos. You don't shoot vlogs no more. Like we gotta get back to vlogging. You just, you just, you just like it seems like you got comfortable. We'll wait till after, bro. This is the podcast. No, why no, am no, I, no, no. Why am See, I getting I, on to you? It's like real. That? It's real. You gotta give me that so I could grow. I just feel like you, you understand got what I'm saying. You know I'm. You know I'm going to listen to yeah. you, bro. I ain't waiting. You just got comfortable like with the hometown love, and it's bigger than Philly. Right. It's bigger than tr- the tri-state. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. Right. And and I, and I guess we needed this to break us out. You understand? Mm. For us to get to California, for us to get to uh, Vlad TV, and you know, I ain't even mean to get that out there and all that. Shout yeah. out to Tony Yayo, shout out to Fifty Cent, and all that. But right. I don't want to do that on this platform. But for me to get to all these different platforms, you know, shout out to X. But for me to be down in Texas and sit on Say Cheese, like it's like, bro, I'm in a wave right now. I know how to strike this shit. You know, you don't get the ball too many times. I guess I'm just a cat with nine lives. You understand what I'm mm. saying? I guess that's what it is. I guess I'm just blessed and highly favored, bro. Mm. Do I have to drop more videos and do exactly what you're saying? Hell yeah. So what, we got videos in the cut. It's, it's, it just seems like you get distracted. Like, what do you? It's like one month you in your rap shit, and then we don't hear from you for three months. Then you back on your rap you shit. You wanna know then. what it is, bro? To keep you, the, 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 the really keep it a bean with you, bro. Sometimes I get uninspired. And right now, I guess hip hop is just at an all time high. Hip hop is at its best moment right now. You feel me? Mm. It's competition. When there's no competition and everything on some like, we are the world, kumbaya type shit, I don't be inspired. When everybody on that DJ College, seven rappers on the track type shit, I'm not inspired by that. I'm inspired by this shit right here. The competition, the controversy. This is what makes me, this is what put the fire under my ass. No Diddy. No Diddy. Like, yeah, I can't say that. Yeah, I got a no Diddy myself. <laughs> but like, this is what make me go, bro. You understand what I'm saying? It got to be some type of, yeah. It, the, hip-hop is back. It's, it's like rapping, you know? Mm. Like, Kendrick gets drowned to Joan. That's why I just did the same Joan. I did the same beat the same night. Sent it to you. Mm. Bomb that Joan. Like, controversy, bro. We ain't on no, we all the world shit, bro. Holding hands and all that, bro. We not on none of that, bro. Mm. It's supposed to be like that. It's hip hop. It's competition. So this is when it's fun. So it's times that you might see me. I'm keeping. I'm just keeping it a beam with you. The times that you do see me on some bullshit, not dropping or not doing nothing, I'm uninspired. This shit feel corny. But right now, I'm back in it and this shit fun again. You mm. understand what I'm saying? And that's me keeping it a buck with you. I can't even explain it no other way, bro. Mm. I really can't. I appreciate you uh, it, dropping uh, it, my name in your your music video last year. The one that almost got a million views. Which you one? You said to say cheese. Uh, yeah. That was that yeah. was hot. Yeah, come on, bro. That was hot. You know I throw the oop and when I do the look the teeth and palm shit. You know my saying teeth and palms. Yeah. I niggas be dicky and teeth and palms laughing and all that. My, <laughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Look. The say cheese, John. Yeah. Not that I'm gonna take your logo, but it's gonna be a teeth smiling, a smiling <laughs> cheese with the palm cheese from like palm angels and shit. Not that I'm a jack palm angels, but they're gonna get a palm tree and like a say cheese on the teeth and palm <laughs> shit. That's for that merch. Yeah. And that's gonna be on nodiddy.net. Okay. You see how I try and incorporate you into all my shit low key, bro? Yeah. We from the bitty, bro. Yeah. Come on, bro. You throw the oop to me, I throw the oop to you, bro. Yeah. One hand wash the other, so, bro. So, the, the Meek Mill allegations. With the whole Diddy shit, and do you think that's true? Like realistically, though. Um, like, do I think they had sex? No, I don't think they was like, and and that audio and all that. I know that audio. The NS- like, yeah. yeah, that's I know that that's AI and all that. Yeah. I don't think that they like. I don't. What fucking can I, fucking sex? No. <laughs> shit, bro. Did it? Yeah, no. I don't think they did it. No, I don't think they had relations. Mm-hmm. No. Do I think that he play around and, you know, bunny hop and do different shit, kinky shit for white people and all that? Yes. You know, play the game? Yes, he do. Do I think that? Yes. Did we see that for our all with our own eyes? Yes, we did. So it ain't even no allegation. But to have, like, you know, essay paperwork 
Like, see, that had, like, gay paintwork. You the first rapper with the gay paintwork. Soldier Boy shit. Like, you are the first <laughs> rapper with the gay paintwork. That's some Soldier Boy shit. I can't say nothing to this guy. They want. No, nah, you good. You the first rapper with gay paperwork, but that's ain't paperwork. That's mm. that's it. You broke a record. Like that's you that's world Guinness record shit. Soldier boy shit. You the first rapper with gay <laughs> he the first rapper with SA paperwork. They can't never say nothing about me. I ain't you huh? Fuck you talking about me. I got four kids. What is it? You believe the parties and all that though? Like it'd be real, like parties and shit? Yes. Yeah. Even in the pool when he said, Yeah, daddy, I like how you carrying it, daddy. Like you you swinging that daddy like on a drink. And the was looking at him on a drone. That was one of the parties. They just was in the back. He ain't want him to film. He ain't want Diddy to pull out his phone. That's why he looked at him like, mm. put your drone up. Why are you letting the world niggas in? <laughs> you ain't peeped that? He gave him a look like, man, put your fucking phone up. You peeped the drone. That was in the back. Of- I ain't oh, never getting to meet you. Yeah. bro. <laughs> That niggas be laughing, bro. Yo. We all saw the, you know, the bunny hop shit. So it was like, you know what I mean? What about the matching that's outfits? That's that's a part of one of the uh that's on the site. That's that's one that's on I got that pressed up on one of the shirts. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a whole box. Don't whole send me that shit. You gotta throw it on the joint. Or, 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 or if you don't want to do that, because I know, you know what I mean, you still got a crazy big, big platform. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? You could put on one of the Diddy joints, one of the no mm-hmm. Diddy joints, rather than putting on one of the joints. Oh, I, I got I get what you're saying. I'm talking yeah. about the t shirt. Yeah, you ain't got to just put on a joint with uh, cuz yeah, yeah, yeah. with the matching shirt. Yeah. That's on the shirt. So you got a shirt with them matching. Yeah. And it say no Diddy. Yes. Got you. Yeah. I want to show you, bro. That's what it's like, bro. Yeah, I, I, we just pulled it up on the joint. I just finished the interview. You know what I mean? But Meek never came out and really defended himself, though. He he did when he said, "I love pussy so much. I always fuck pussy. I I eat pussy. I I be playing with pussy. I I be I like fucking from the back. I fuck from the side. I remember he made that tweet. That was the response. That was his response." <laughs> Mm. The essays. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn. No, nope. that was his response. Like he don't know how to like. That's like he don't know how to play with the internet. Like you know, he don't know the. You know that shit, read, bro. Long ass Maya Angelou uh, paragraphs and all that crazy ass Milano paragraphs. Like <laughs> that should be like poetry. <laughs> like you don't know what the fuck he's saying in them jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas be still reading them joints like fuck it. I got dizzy reading this shit. Fuck, <laughs> fuck us talking about like this shit crazy. Nigga, take it, run it. Damn, we off that though, man. I don't want to, nah. really, you know, what I man. What do you think about the, the, like, the raid though? No, but to get back on this, right? Because we're gonna talk about the Diddy shit too. To get back on this, right? It's funny how the whole world is going at Cuz now, right? Mm. And I've been going at him, and but when when I was doing it back then, I'm a nut ass mm-hmm. nigga. I'm a hater. Yeah. This nigga corny. He mad that Meek made it and all this shit. No, now everybody going at him. Now what? With the whole world fucking haters. Mm. Everybody in the world hating, huh? That shit crazy, bro. Yeah. But do you ever feel like you were blackballed because of that? The black ball off. I've been said that. Nigga, because I just left from the, the West Coast. I, but nigga, the black ball off. But, the black ball. But you dropped meals from your name because of me. You never said it, but that's why I think you dropped your name, right? I dropped meals off of my name just because Quilly is just, when you put when you type hey, in Quilly. Mozzie up at the door, the cameraman. When you type in Quilly, nothing else pops up but Quilly. But when you type in Quilly Mills, other mills pop up, rather it be Jay Mills. Jay Mills. I don't. I ain't even want to say that name. We just. You see how you bringing mm. dinosaurs back to life? You mm. can't keep naming old niggas that these young motherfuckers don't know about, because then you gonna have them googling and all that. But yeah, you gonna bring up, you know, shout out to uh, you know what, Stephanie Mills. She ain't passed away this year. Yeah, General Mills. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? We ain't naming no rappers that ain't relevant. We can't keep, you know, mm. you bringing niggas back. This is a big ass platform, bro. Right. Like you got why you can't name drop on a joint. You feel me? Like you named mm. dinosaurs, bro. Hmm. But yeah, they turned it. They 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 just made it Quilly. 
um, just so nothing else come up in a search engine. So I get everything. That's another thing about, you know, learning that internet, man, just studying this shit. Mm. Nothing else pops up when you type up Quilly. There's no other rapper in the world named Quilly. My name is Aquil, mm. you know? The mm. album should be on, al- the album Aquil, my self-titled album, it should be on iTunes, uh, like Apple, like right now. Like, as tonight. When, no, when this interview come out, like gotcha. type shit, like it should, it should be out. Type right. Shit. Yeah. Four, year, four years ago, I interviewed Core. And he gave you your flowers. He said he paid you like five hundred or, or, or a he thousand. He capping, yeah. He gave me a, he gave me a dollar two times. He gave you a thousand twice. Yeah. And he didn't say five hundred dollars. He said he gave me a hundred and fifty dollars. It was a hundred fifty. No, I'm telling you that he gave me a thousand dollars the first time, but then gave me a thousand a thousand dollars the next you. time. And that's when I was trying <clears throat> to show love to him. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Basically, that's me not taxing him. But he told me he he said in your interview that he paid one hundred and fifty, and that's cap. That's cap. That part right there. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck? You don't think that? he probably just got the numbers wrong by accident? How you gonna get the numbers wrong? And he ain't even pay me. His his man Lil paid me. Lil, shout out to Lil. Shout out to Lil. Yeah. Core didn't even pay me. Lil paid me. I mean, but Lil was the guy around that believed in him. That yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we yeah. everybody got people like that in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. What you about to ask me about Corey? Um, I want to see where it's going. But he gave you your flowers, though. He said that you you really changed his life. That's thorough. Like That's, people think Meek put Corey on when it was really you. Yeah, yeah. I, do. He, I was the first that one on that camera. got him up to the radio. I was the first one to do you know songs with him and all that. Charged him you know polo t shirt money, two thousand dollars. That's nothing. You know what I mean? A pair of socks and shit. Yeah, it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? So. That's, that's basically me looking out for him. That's me charging him, charging him nothing. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So we did that. I got him up the radio. What was it, the Splash Life? I brought record? him out. Spl- the, uh, the, the record Splash Life and Z- the uh, Z- real Z- niggas up top, man. Okay, yep, yep. Come on, man. You know yeah, the history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ain't nobody lying, bro. And uh, I brought him out at the TLA and all that. When I brought PNB Rock out, man, Law Rest His Soul, man. Mm hmm. I mean, and y'all only got two records ever? Was it two or three? Mm, Is it zero, zero to one hundred? Zero to a hundred. Can you pass my Vaseline, bloody? <clears throat> it's in the bag, yo. So what, like two, three records? Uh, we got zero to a hundred. Uh, good looking. Pause this real quick. Two seconds. I'm sorry. I just don't like my shit. I don't want to get my shit the white Howard all in. You know what I mean? Shit, white donut powder <laughs> donut shit. You feel me? You don't want to have that all on the camera. It's crazy. Appreciate you, bro. Um, what you say? Um, y'all, y'all only, huh? Mozzie? Yeah, that's him right there. Yeah. Uh, you were surprised too. We had a dog on the scene. Yeah. Wasn't you surprised? Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna say Chris nothing crazy, but you mm. was like, yes, yeah, I got you. We got three slammers if yeah. you need them, man. Yeah. I said, no, bloody, we got the dome on the mm-hmm. road. Yeah, yeah. I, I ain't expect it. You ain't expect that? I, I ain't expect my it. My feet on the land, ain't it? <laughs> ain't my feet on the land? I don't be on no nut shit, no Hollywood shit, none of that. Nigga walk past, yo, that's Quilly. Yeah, come on, bro, let's take pictures. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, what's your Instagram? Well, let me follow you. Well, hun, my name is this. I'm from Houston. I'm from Dallas. I do this. Well, hey, let me follow you. Yeah. Let, let's build networks. Let's. Yeah. That's what you supposed to do, bro. You supposed to come on, reach down and all that, bro. Motherfucker trying to come up. Right. Shorty out there at the beauty salon and all that. Hun, I'm gonna follow you, hun. I'll shout you out. Not right now, but I'll shout you out. You heard? <laughs> I'm gonna show you love. But it's real. I followed her. Shit like that. She owned the beauty salon and I'm gonna show her love. This is our dollars. Yeah. This we in Texas. This is a whole other state. Now, I'm down on. here networking. But, but, I'm, I'm touching the people. Right. No ditty. Like now, 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 now back to what we was talking about. You and Core only got three records. Yeah. That was like a collab that a lot of people like. People wanted joint projects. People wanted, you know, people wanted more from that from mm-hmm. that situation. And it was like, yeah, y'all we, both from uptown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what happened? Um, he just. You know, went a different way, and we was never in paperwork. All I was doing was just throwing the oop. I was just throwing him an alley oop, showing love. The same thing I just did with him. FS Bender not in paperwork. He might get a million dollar deal after this fucking interview come out. Mm. Just because a, a fucking million dollar investor or record label might see this and sign FS Bender, say, hey, who's this guy that he's talking about? Anybody? Mm. Put a bag behind him. 
I have nothing to do with it. He's not in contract with me. I'm just showing love. Me lighting his candle won't take away from my candle being lit. Mm. That shit ain't taking nothing away from me, bro. I'm showing love. I'm going to get blessed more. Yeah. Meek got a lot of flack because Core dropped his album. And then a week later, Meek dropped the album after that. He dropped that shit 72 hours after Core dropped his shit. You <laughs> laughing. That shit ain't funny. That nigga dropped on Monday. Meek dropped on Wednesday. Huh? What's that? That's thorough? Nah. Huh? So when, when I'm doinking him and I'm playing and I'm I'm going at him and all that, I'm a nut ass nigga. I'm a hater. That was, oh, cra- nigga, that was crazy. That's cornball shit, bro. That's my young boy. Corn my young boy. The mic fell. I like this energy, bro, because you 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 know Philly and you saying real shit that other, you know what I mean, yeah. ain't asked and all that, bro. Hun, give me something, bro. That's crazy. This shit crazy, bro. This a different interview, bro. So wait, no, nah, so it's a real shit. He dropped it 72 hours afterwards. So he dropped if, if Philly if, wasn't if, feeling if, that if at Cor, all. Yeah, they was not. If Core Philly. dropped, if Core dropped his album thorough on Monday, Cuz dropped his album on Wednesday. That's crazy. Like, why? He couldn't get a month on the charts. And he only shouted him out on a One on a time. on a and and no, he Meek only shouted him out on a Meek Mill news page. On the, on the backup, no, he ain't shouting Nah, out on don't the, say that. Yeah, they shouted him don't out say on that. the Dream Chaser don't page. Don't say that. Nah. They ain't giving him I a shout-out. I seen him tweet it, though. He tweeted it, though, from his page. And then he and then he deleted the tweet. He didn't delete the tweet. He deleted the tweet and started going at me. He don't know the internet. You supposed to let your young boy roll. It's his fucking time. Give him 30 days to let him ball. You nut-ass nigga. Let him shine. You was supposed to let him carry that shit, nigga. Come on, man. Core, man, if you see this, bro, come over here, man. You know what I mean? Me and Sean Cotton, we fuck with you, bro. You know yeah, what I mean? I, I, I Loud fuck music, with you know what I mean? Come, come, yeah. I, I, I think, ain't, uh, I ain't got, I probably ain't got the budget that, cause you feel me? And I'm pretty sure he ain't give you too much. But I got something, I ain't really worth something, man. I fuck with you, you know We can redo this shit again, man. Yeah, I think that's what, that's what Philly would want. I ain't got no problem with it. You see how pure my heart is? Something had to happen, though. Ain't nothing had to happen. I just be bullying shit. I go with everybody whenever I feel like it. Why didn't you reach back down to Core, though? Because Core, at, 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 for like four or five years, he was top three in Philly for a long time. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you reach back down? Was it because your life was... Because I went to jail and I had to come back and get back on fire because mm-hmm. I was in fucking jail so long that people forgot about me. And I had to get back on that internet and work that computer. Mm. And I wasn't really worrying about no one else. I had to get Quilly back on fire. Mm. So we could be here today. You know? Type shit. Yeah. Damn. But I don't got a problem with working with Core. Bro, ain't no malice or hate in my heart or none of that. I ain't one of them bulls or none of that. None of that, bro. We could really work. And I'm not bidding to none of that, bro. You know, he out to deal with them. Can, can I say that? Uh, yeah, he out to deal with... Uh, yeah, he not with Dream Chase. Yeah, he out to deal, so he's a free agent right now. Mm. We could work, bro. I ain't trying to play with nothing. Super hot, though. Every time he drop, he go top yeah. 10. And you know the conversation we had. I ain't, we ain't got to bring that up on camera. Mm-hmm. But that was a thorough joint, you know what I mean? So we can make we can make something happen, man. Yeah. If Core, if you watching this, bro, I ain't bidding it. Because everybody think I be bidding and joking all the time. Yeah. I'm dead to fuck serious, bro. We can work, bro. I ain't doing that. It's Philly, bro. We both from up top. It's a ball. Let's carry this shit. Did you know he was special when you did the feature, or was it just knocking out another feature? No, I knew it wasn't knocking out another feature. I, I knew it was special. And then when he doubled back for the video. And then when I called him out to the show, to the Quilly and Friends at TLA, when I, I sold it out like three times, when he performed, the crowd went crazy. And that's his solo. And then when we did Zero to 100, the crowd went even crazier. So I'm like, damn, he got a, he got a wave. Hmm. You know what I mean? He carrying that shit type shit. The number one the number one question people want to know, well, it ain't the number one question, but a lot of people, they, they wanted me to ask you this. Joey Jahad, mm-hmm. what happened? I mean, people know what happened, but it's like. He doing, he doing DoorDash right now. Um, 
he 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 selling he selling Yeezy. Nah, nah, real, nah, real, no, real, no, off real of Stock X. Um, he got Yeezy. He got he got Jordans for sale on uh go, on like he sells sneaks and um do DoorDash. Bro, what? Didn't y'all ever get back cool? For what? <laughs> you said that name, all all the lattes, all the all the ladies in here, when you said that name, you can hear a fucking pain drop. You hear crickets in this motherfucker, nigga. I thought it was patched up though. What? I remember all the 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 how how what you are the core? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you say Joey Jihad is to you, or was to you? No, you can't say that because I was already on fire when I went over there. You don't think he? So he didn't find he didn't discover you? Like yo, this this kid is hot. Yeah. I'm gonna take him under my wing. No, did he? He didn't discover me, and he didn't didn't. Explain. I'm not trying to be funny or be no, messy. I'm I'm really asking that. you. No, I had my own wave. I was already on fire. It was just me uh, standing next to someone that was already you know older and had, you know, radio play and shit like that already. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't on the radio yet type shit. Yeah. But I had the streets on fire. When he did what he did to you, did that really, did that hurt you? Before that, I was already doing my own thing. And we wasn't, we, we already went separate ways. Before that. Before? Before the- Why'd y'all why go separate ways? I just wanted to do my own shit. I never felt as though like I belonged in a group, mm. you know? I be on my own time, and like like you just said, I drop when I want. Mm. Whenever I want, I drop. Whenever I feel like talking shit, I'm talking shit. Whenever I want to be Farrakhan, I'll be Farrakhan. Whenever I'm Malcolm X, Cooley X, I'm Cooley X. You know. Whenever whenever I turn into fucking uh, J Cole, and I and I just want to post every six months, and it's just, you know. Some bullshit like how J. Cole just posts his tour dates every six months or some shit. Yeah, I get in that bag. I get in my fall back shit. Now I'm on my chill shit. Or I'm on my community shit or something. You feel me? Did that situation hurt your family? Like the your, your BM and your mm -mm. it didn't No. You didn't like y'all didn't split up after that? No, I have a whole nother woman. Oh, okay. My mm -hmm. okay. I'm playing. Okay. And when you say he's doing DoorDash, like and and selling uh, Yeezys and um, Air you see, like he he delivered food to your house or something. No, I, so live, you know, I live in Dawson Street. How you know he 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 do DoorDash? It's it's, it's no secret. At least at least that's an honest hustle though. Yeah yeah, for I can sure. support. I'm not I even playing. You see, I'm not. I wasn't yeah. laughing. I'm not trying to joke around. Yeah not, yeah, it's nothing to play about. That's a hustle. You know, he's just when I I talked to him like maybe two three years ago when he was like on some like pop back out type shit. Did it happen? Mm-mm. Right. Yo, Quilly, something else, bro. <laughs> uh, rest in peace to Fat G's. That's uh, yeah, man, Lord rest his soul. Um, young kid, well, he's 28. Mm. Um, in the, the surveillance mm. leaked online. It, Everything it, online now. Everything. Everything, bro. The most sacred things, man, are, are online right now. People felt like that should have been released. So, you know, you know, somebody may could notice the car or like, I think the footage was put out so people could identify who that was. Um, But, you know, People see how Fat G's carry the situation, walking outside to the car. You know, you think that could have been avoided? The whole situation could have been. He could have he could have handled it a little bit smarter than that. It's a very touchy situation right here, bro. So, this is what I'm gonna do. And in, in Philadelphia is a bloodbath right here, right? This is how serious my city is, right? I'm going to have a whole nother conversation with you. Mm -hmm. We're going to do an extended version. 
right? Mm -hmm. Maybe blank some of the stuff out. But right now, mm -hmm. I'ma just leave that alone. Mm -hmm. For my safety, for my team's safety. Right. I'm just mind our business on that one. Right. I respect it. It's Ramadan right now, right? Mm -hmm. Is that do you do you really follow Ramadan? Yes, sir. Yeah. So that's no sex in the daytime? Mm-hmm. No sex during the day. Unless you married and you can have sex with your wife at nighttime. But you can't have sex with her during the daytime? Mm-mm. It's like you're giving up all your desires to your God, to a law. Sometimes sometimes yeah. sometimes you mess up. Um, to keep it real, yes. I'm human. Mm. So Islam is perfect. I'm not perfect. Mm. And there's no such thing as a perfect Muslim. You know? Mm. So sometimes I do mess up. But right now, like I said, I'm on I'm on journey. So this is a day that can be expiated and I can make up or not to bring up what I none of my good deeds, but you could feed someone homeless, you know. Rather they be Muslim or to feed a fasting Muslim, you get more blessings. But if I just feed someone homeless, I still, you know, get the blessing, get the reward, you know. Yeah. That's the mercy of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you pray five times a day, every day? Not every day. It, it's like, it's, I can't say five times a day, every day, but I pray all throughout the day. Like this morning, I made the prayer. Like if I don't make all five, I'll probably make three or four. But for me to sit here and tell you every single day of my life, bro, I make all five, that'd be a lie. But you're supposed to make five prayers every day, every day of your life. You're supposed to make all five. Mm -hmm. But for me to look you in your eyes and say every time, one time, I make all five every single day, never miss, never make a mistake, never mess up. I'll be lying to you, bro. Mm. And I'm too real. My heart is too pure to look you in your eyes and do that, bro. Yeah. To look to look these people, bro. Look at these people and say that on camera. I'm not going to do that, bro. Like, Islam is perfect, mm. you know? I'm not. Mm. How you feel about all these rappers? It's like the cool thing to do now is to be Muslim. Lord, so John, Lord John just took a shahada. But they say uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, uh, may peace be upon him, said, you know, as people embrace uh, Islam, the more people that embrace Islam, he said, those are the end of times. So that might be, you know, a revelation. Uh, what, what is it? Revelation. Uh, yeah, of of you know the 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 end of times. It might be a sign of you know the end of times. People embracing Islam. That's what it says in the Hadith books in Sahih al Bukhari. Mm. You know, yeah. That the more people that embrace Islam, we, we will see a time that a lot of people will start to embrace Islam and take their shahada. Mm. And when that time comes, then, you know, I'm not saying I know exactly what's going on and all that. I'm just saying, you know, saying what's in the text. That's really what's in the book. You right. know? I was on YouTube one day uh, just browsing and I seen you and you and OT7 Kwani like having a back and forth. Mm -hmm. He pulled out 150,000. And may and, and challenge you to do it, and it was like uh, I don't really. It was it was random, like Quilly OT Seven Kwani. Like how do how do y'all even like why? Cause niggas just be popping they little shit, and I you know you you, you can't play with me at all. You know what I mean? Cause then I'm gonna just draw. I'm gonna tip the gratuity. You feel me? So you can't play with me. You know what I mean? And when he pulled that 150 out, like, I I don't want to even go there. I, yeah, because I don't want to make that the subject. And I don't really. No, I'm just wanna... addressing. I, before the interview, yeah, that'd be... everybody witness. I said, I'm addressing everything. Yeah. You don't have to answer everything, but I'm going to yeah. ask you everything. Right, yeah. 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 And, and shout out to him, though. Like, um, yeah, bro, at that time, he, he, bro, he, he doing time, his thing right bro, now. At, yeah, for sure. But at that time, bro, he around six, seven different niggas, man. Up in different niggas' money and all that, bro. You know what I mean? Mm. And they ain't got a car, bro. You know what I mean? On that mm. type of time. But it's like, that's just like, it just seemed like y'all got two different circles. Like, how did that even yeah, start? Yeah, 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 for sure. That's why, that's why, shit. No, no, no. Look, I'm going to let you know. It's not war or nothing. It's just talking shit. Like, Philly is just like a competitive, you understand what yeah. I'm saying? On that type of time. So it's not war. It's not, you know, when I see him, when he see me, it's not on that type of time. It's, you know, he's doing his thing, I'm doing my thing. Mm -hmm. And like you said, it's two different crowds because he don't rap. That's like, you know, 
underwater like echo type shit. Like that shit like like we got the joint like Pac when Pac Man had the joint. That shit like all I call that ad lib rap. That nigga be on stage dragging shit. Like, but yeah, he doing his thing. You Wait, know. you said that's underwater music? Underwater rap. That's underwater underwater, rap. underwater ad lib rap. You know how they say mumble rap? He's not mumbling. He's actually like rap underwater <laughs> underwater ad lib rap. <laughs> Motherfucker, whole song eight bars. Mm. Huh? All ad lib. I don't want to go there. <laughs> you you like when I go there? No, I'm, wanna... I'm just a, I'm just addressing everything. <laughs> you said this your favorite interview. Yeah, bro, I love it, bro. Let's yeah. ball. I'm having fun. I don't give a fuck. You know I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And we can go there about anything. I'm just saying I don't want to. I don't be one of. This is a big platform, no diddy. So I don't want to give niggas the light. That's what I don't want to do. Right. I, not on my joint. You feel me? But no, we can carry it. Fuck these niggas. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Let's ball, man. So I mean. <laughs> Okay. Anything. Let's ball. Um, and like, let's ball. Like, we, we can have it. Like, I don't give a fuck. Charleston White and Gilly had a back and forth mm. two days ago. Um, some some text messages <sighs> leaked of, of of Gilly coming at Charleston. Well, Gilly texting a promoter. Why the fuck did you ask me this, bro? <laughs> Why the <laughs> fuck you put me in the middle of this? Why you do this to me, bro? <laughs> Sure, why you doing this shit to me, buddy? Why I gotta answer this shit, bro? <laughs> bro, you you was you asking some of this. You yo, bro, you got some of the most sensitive topics, bro. These are real sensitive joins. This is some real shit, bro. This is real, bro. What you think Charleston gonna come come for you? I'm not saying that Charleston gonna come for me. I'm just saying the whole topic in itself is yeah. like that's very touching. Like no diddy. Yeah. You feel me? It's very touching. Is Charleston wrong? All right, we're gonna we're gonna leave this alone. Yeah. That... <laughs> well, we're gonna leave this alone. You 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 respect Charleston though, like his message. The, the snitching shit. You know damn well I don't respect snitching. Not man. respect snitching, but like how he's saying that like rappers are hypocrites. All right, we're going to leave this Charleston shit alone. No, no, no. All right, so look. Look, 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 look. You, are you in a rush? I'm not in a rush like, at all. I'm not in a rush. I'm not I'm in a rush at all. I, listen, I'm letting everyone know. I'm comfortable and I'm not in a rush. And I'm chilling. These topics are like... I don't want to say, you understand what I'm saying? It's like, all right, so look. Charleston White, right? He he also cracked the Da Vinci Code of the internet, right? Mm -hmm. And he also knows the algorithm, right? Mm -hmm. So he know how to pick at people and jab and, you know, boil, boil people blood just like me. Mm -hmm. But it's certain extents that I won't go to. Mm. You know? Let's just say that. That's what I'm going to say. It's just certain extents that I won't go to. Mm. And I'm a disrespectful motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. But it's certain extents that I'm not going to go to, bro. And I'm going to just say that. But. Charleston learned how to crack this internet code. Like how I said, I, I know the algorithm. I know when to strike. I know when to chill. I, 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 I understand the internet, you know? And Charleston White is a person that does understand the internet. Mm. Do he go, do he jump out the jet kamikaze humaz style? Yes. Yes. But do that bring the bag in? Hell yeah. Ain't nobody trying to chill, don't pay the bills, bro. And all that fall back, cool J. Cole shit, ain't nobody trying. J. Cole don't even do interviews. The last interview I saw from J. Cole, like, niggas went to sleep. Like, mm. niggas don't want to see a J. Cole interview, bro. Do you want to see a J. Cole interview? Nah. I don't want to see a J. Cole interview. Do you listen to J. Cole music? If it come on the radio all my life. But if you're talking about number six on his album, am I going to go download the shit? No. 
Yeah. But when that shit come on, you either. I'm keeping it a bean. This is what the world feel. Yeah. What you saying is what the world feel. What, what, feel. what I'm saying is what the world feel, bro. All that chill shit. Don't nobody want to see all that fall back cool shit. Mm. You gotta pop it. No diddy. That's what Charleston told me. He told me that um, if he would have came out positive, he would have never blew up. Cause niggas ain't trying to hear that positive shit. I mean, Wallow getting away with it and all that, but you know what <laughs> I mean? Ain't getting ain't, away with it. Yeah, but you understand what I'm saying? Niggas ain't trying to hear that positive shit, bloody. Ain't nobody trying to hear that shit, bro. Like I said, you know, the message that I said, I kept it positive, but I put it in a way that'll reach the fucking streets. It's gonna reach them kids. You see the way I put it, and I told my story about drugs, that shit gonna reach them. All the mother stories and all that shit, that politically correct shit, them kids, it ain't gonna reach their heart. I know how to talk to the people. I'm on the land with the people. You see motherfuckers walking up in front of your store. Motherfuckers coming from Houston, Dallas, Irving, Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth, what? <laughs> Fort Worth. Fort Worth. Yeah. yeah, nigga, I'm from up top. I'm from the Billy. I don't really know. They coming up to me, holding me to the sky. You feel me? Teeth and palms and all that. Yeah. Niggas honoring me. I'm just saying that I'm going to land with the people showing love from Fort Worth, from Dallas, from Houston. People, random people just walking up. We around the corner eating. Motherfuckers stopping me in the middle eating. I got grub in my mouth. No ditty. My whole mouth full. You feel me? No ditty. Niggas trying to still take pictures. I'm like, hold cut, let me get my shit together. He like, no, bro, we got, yo, no diddy, Quilly on the joint. I'm like, bro, let me tighten up. I'm trying to get my shit together, bro. Like, you feel me? He still got the camera in the joint facing me and all. I'm like, come on. But I still took the video. I still took the picture. I still got Instagrams. I still talk to the people. Mm. Who the fuck am I? You can't be bigger than the program. Mm. These niggas think they bigger than the program, bro. You got to come back to the mud, bro. You got to come back to the mud. You got to be on the land, bro. When, when are you ever going to go on a million dollars worth, million dollars worth of game? Mm. Mm. Is that ever mm. going to happen? Like, mm. people really want to see you on there. It's like, because I watch, I, I fuck with Gilly. I, I watch the shit. Mm. But it's like, you don't really, even like OT7 Kwani. Like, it's niggas core. It's niggas in Philly that should be on that platform. I think um, that platform is more, uh, like we just had uh, Car Cardi B on there, like more A-list celebrities and shit like that. Like, bro, you got to understand. And like I said, bro, I don't, you know the conversation we had, bro. I don't, we ain't going to go there. But, you know, God willing, I get on there one day, you know, inshallah. Shout out to Gilly, shout out to Wallow. Hmm. You feel like you too, it's too many politics? Or you may go in there and say some shit that just may just make everything. Put it like this, bro. I'm gonna say cheese and you own your shit. Mm. Black man. Mm. I'm gonna say cheese and you own your shit. Mm. I just I just left academics. That black man own his shit. Mm. It was nothing but a phone call. The same phone call I just made to that young boy mm -hmm. that's trying to make it out the fucking city. And I know he hot as shit. Mm. That's the million dollar question. Why the fuck I ain't on million dollars worth of game? And that's the number one motherfucking drone from Philly. Across the world. What well, Meek been on there, huh? Yeah. All politics. Yeah. No. Nope. I interviewed this girl named Pilar. And and he wasn't and he oh. wasn't and you and you know when you go on million dollars worth of game you get checked you know. You get checked. You get checked. Like you get checked for uh, they give you game. Oh they yeah. They give you some game. Mm -hmm. Like well you're doing your thing, Sean. But I really think you know coming from million dollars worth of game, I really think you should do this and do that to better you. They give you a million dollars worth of game. When Cuz went up there. They ain't give him a million dollars worth of game. Cuz went up there and told them a million dollars worth of game, and they was just, you know, all ears. That was the... Teeth and Palms? The, yeah, Teeth and Palms. That was the Meek Mill show. Go watch the interview. Damn. 
Cardi B just left him up there. They just gave her a million dollars worth of game. And she got 138 million followers. Quadrupled the followers of him. And they just told her what she could do to better her career. Well, you think you just need to drop and don't worry about it now. But cuz come up there with motherfucker, what do you got? 21 million followers or something? Nothing, nothing, nothing in the hundreds or nothing like Cardi B, right? And why they ain't give him a million dollars worth of game? They ain't had no no type of advice for him. I'm saying what it is, bro. Damn. You ever think about relocating? I already live in Dawson's Creek, but uh, I don't want to tell people my spot because you know I, you know how, uh, NBA young boy with the Utah on him. Yeah, Grave Mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but look, 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 look. This my spot right here. Mm. Uh, yeah, yep, that's mm. my spot. If I say it, then everybody gonna go there and, and tip on my spot. Now that shit gonna <laughs> be another Miami and another Atlanta, and it's gonna be another Hollywood. This my low key spot in the states. You feel me? Yeah, off the grid shit. Yeah, mm. and don't nobody go there. Yeah, mm. I love huh? I love that spot. Huh? Yeah, all yeah. retired rich motherfucker. Huh? Yeah. That ain't no tourist attraction. Ain't no young motherfuckers over there. Mm. Don't give up my spot. You know it. Look, you probably know it. Look, uh, yeah, you just, she said you were texting mm. the joke. No. Yeah. <laughs> I got spots. Now I live in Dawson's Creek, though. Okay. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Do you, uh, uh, Meek Mill's friend Dean? That's my man. Okay. That's my man. I call Dean right now. That's my man. Okay. Anybody you name, I call them right now and they'll pick up the FaceTime just like that. Mm. Anybody. You can fuck around, name anybody, and I will call them right now on this fucking show and have them and just show them. Like, you're like, bro, it's bro. It's, it's a phone call. Anybody. Anybody. Mm. Yeah, because he, he fell out with Meek too, right? Wait, pardon me? He fell out with Meek too? Who? Meek Dean. Dean. Uh, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He was trying to do his thing on um they they gave him an offer for uh love and hip hop and shit like that. Uh he was dating Karen Silva. That story out there, but um not to touch on that too much, but uh Cuz told him don't do it. Like nigga, uh, us for bum ass rappers, nigga, don't do no love and hip hop shit. Nigga, that, that's crumb shit. That's you know what I mean? We ain't on that. And the only reason why they want you in the joint is cause of me, nigga. Mm. They don't want you on there because of you. Mm. That was the alley you for him to get on love and hip hop, and now you know he out he out he out of the city. He out the bitty. He not in Philly no more. You on love and hip hop. You in New York or L.A. or whatever that wherever that's going to take you. But you on TV now, type shit. Mm. You feel me? He stopped that for him. Told him don't do it. That's for bum ass rappers. That's for nut ass niggas. Don't do that shit. And you know he listened to him from being you know being loyal. He didn't do it. He didn't make the move and. Well, it is what it is. He doing his thing though. He running, still running around doing his thing, but he just he ain't take the love of hip hop joint. It was a part. It was a point in time where Meek Mill offered all the young rappers in Philly fifty thousand. Twenty. It was twenty or fifty. Twenty. It was. It was twenty. 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 Okay. To stop beefing. You was giving him too much love. You said fifty thousand. I got the numbers wrong with Cord too. too. Come yeah, on, man, don't do that. That's too. Much. I got the number. The numbers yeah, wrong he, with Cord too. He was giving out polo T-shirt money. Twenty thousand. Yeah, that's life changing money for a lot of for to be in Philly. Life and not have and not have nothing. Life changing, a dub. You can move, that's enough to move out of Philly. When they gave out the PUAs, one of my smokers walked up to me with forty thousand. <laughs> I know a crackhead that had a forty ball when they had PUA. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Dope fiends walking around with a dub. You see what's going on? Mm. Crackheads and shit like that. Players walking around with all this bread from getting the PUA joints, hitting their cards, getting the, getting the 500 off, getting a 1,000 off, daily, shit like that. Bank account, crazy. They smoker deals. He was giving out smoker deals. <laughs> you felt like that was a disrespectful deal to tell people to, to squash beef for 20000 
how you going to tell somebody to squash something and you're not on the land with the people? Mm. So it's not, like I said, the way I was just talking about not doing drugs, right? I put it in a way that it could reach the people. I didn't put it in a politically correct way. You're trying to talk to these people, right? And you're not on the land with them. That's why they came back with those disrespectful responses. You understand what I'm saying? The streets going to talk, bro. Motherfuckers going to let you know how they feel, bro. You ain't disrespect nobody like that, bro. No fucking $20,000, bro. You can't move your fucking mom out the hood with no dub. $20,000, nigga, that shit going to make you go wet somebody deep. You're going you gonna to run in somebody's crib seven days after you fucked that up. Mm. You're going to be ready to lick somebody. No mm. bitty. You're going to be ready to lick something. Yeah, man, I, I, I know I know rappers who done blew way more than that. Yeah, so imagine... Man, it's uh, be um, half a million. Imagine Gone. the 20 ball. You you know rappers that blew a half a million. Imagine the 20 ball. Mm. Motherfucker fucked that up. That shit gone in two weeks. Man, that nigga would have had the whole city writing ethers on him. Hmm. Hmm. 20 ball. Come on, bro. Motherfucker would have bought an outfit. You can't even... <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker would have paid his phone bill, bought an outfit, <laughs> went to motherfucking Wendy's, got a five for five. <laughs> Come on, man. Took a bitch to the hotel. You got $11,000 left. Come on, bro. What the fuck? Halfway done. You see how the, 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 the inflation... Come on. Bro. Look at the economy right now, bro. <laughs> A dub right now in the economy? Mm. Come on, bro. What you gonna do with a dub right now in 2024, nigga? Mm. Go on Walmart right now. Look at the grocery prices. I'm keeping it clean on that tip. I'm taking it down to something as simple as that. Yeah. Look at the grocery prices in Walmart. Go go to the grocery stores. The economy is changing. All this shit, the inflation, bro. Can't get nobody no dub no fucking time like this. Mm. Even a time like that, shit was still tight. Then, around the time uh, when the PUA came out, like I said, smokers running around with that money. Mm. I might as well sign to this dope game for $40,000. And you could take that dub. <laughs> I'll sign Shut to this dope game. Up, dope game records. <laughs> Fuck the chases. Yeah. Um, OT the rapper. He, uh, Shout out to him, man. We squashed our joint. Oh, yeah. We did a party and everything. Yeah. What? I ain't no, bro. I'm on the money now, bro. Cause I, I I remember the last time I know about that was I think he was begging you to respond. Yeah, and I gave him what he wanted. No, did mm. he? That sounded crazy. <laughs> I said I gave him what he wanted. That sound like a fucking Jeffrey Epstein essay. <laughs> I, yo. I gotta watch. See, nowadays you see how you gotta watch with that what you say. Yeah. You can't say shit nowadays. Like, yo, I got I got Mason Cam saying no Diddy, bro. This it's shit, crazy. that shit went viral, bro. Like, damn, you who, think you who, think Diddy know about that? You think he like has an idea about the no Diddy shit? I think Diddy is wearing about when the next time you know the, the jet going to land and where they going you know what I mean he, where he going to fly <laughs> off and land at is they going to, is he going to open lock a clear port is he going to go to Cuba airport I think he worrying about that I don't think he's worrying about no No I'm not saying about. worrying about it does he know about it Yeah yes it came across his desk Nigga I just told you I got the phone with Tony Yayo <laughs> Shout out to Fiddy. I didn't Do you think I do you think that I just be making this shit up cuz it sound good No nah. Oh Yeah bro I right, bro <laughs> That shit came across his desk, bro. Damn. Damn, man. No Diddy. That shit crazy, man. Pending, though. It's pending. So, do you got, you waiting to see, like, the status or whatever? Because that shit usually take a few weeks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nobody was on it, so we we got it. It's 100% mm. that we got it. You know and it's mean? proof that, like, you were saying that shit, yeah, too, right? Yeah, way before that. Way before that. You know what I mean? Way before that. Yeah. But when I went on uh, act on that's when it shot to the moon mm -hmm. and then you just see everybody start saying it like I woke up the next morning and I'm like yo what the fuck is going on mm. like yo everybody saying this shit who else just said it who Puff Daddy man who Gene, mm, Gene. Puff Daddy yeah. friend Puff Daddy man that's telling about all the essays yep. he just said no diddy so I'm like damn it ain't cross Diddy Dust. Mm. If Gene just said it, 
on Vlad interview, mm. everything I'm saying, we can go look this shit up and all that. We ain't going to do it right now, but I'm just saying, we could. I got footage in the game, press, press replay, bro. Like, we ain't, yeah. you could look this shit up, bro. You never talk about your upbringing, like your dad. You, you, used, to mention, you used to mention your mom in a few records. I love my father, bro. But you never really talked about your, you talked about your mom more than your dad. Yeah, bro, I love my father. Like, what was your upbringing like? Great. I had my mother and my father. Mm. I ain't one of them niggas that get on, fuck you, dad. <laughs> 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 niggas get right in the I don't fuck with my pop. Fuck that nigga and yeah. all that. I love my father, man. Yeah. yeah. Real nigga. Yeah. Real rap, man. But you used to put, you used to tell stories about your mom and your music. Like, mm-hmm. you, used to, mm-hmm. you used to really like, exp- like, let the world, like, what, tell, like, let's talk about that. Like, yeah. We also got, uh, it's crazy that you said that because my network on my podcast, you know I'm starting my own shit and all yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the Quilly me. Show and all yeah. that. So live streaming, the Quilly Show, and then the um, Tanya Sun TV, mm. you know? That's going to be Damn, the we umbrella. Got, we got Barbara Sun That's... TV, now we got Tanya Sun TV. Shout out, shout out to Aunt Glizzy. Glizzy. That, yeah, that'd be hot. What you thought I wasn't going to shout him out? Yeah, what that, you thought yeah. I was nah, going to nah, get nah, off nah, 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 nah. Yeah, shout out Aunt Glizzy. Yeah, I now, now, Aunt. now look, since you want to bring people up, you see like how you was naming dinosaurs that yeah. niggas couldn't remember? Like you just naming MC for lamb for lamb, MC <laughs> cheesesteak. I, we don't know none of them niggas. Yeah. DJ, I don't know none of them niggas. But look, you just mentioned a nigga that's rolling. You feel me? You mm. just mentioned like, you feel me? Come on, bro. You got to mention niggas that's Speaking of that, where, where F-Chain at? Hold on. Before that, wait. Because you we everywhere. What you just say? Before, the, before that, who was we just talking about? Aunt Glizzy. Aunt Glizzy, right? So look, Aunt Glizzy is a nigga that's popping, that's relevant. Right. And you fuck with him. Right. I like it. I like relevancy. So, all that irrelevant shit and all that yeah. that we gotta go back and Google. Oh, I do remember Main Man. Yeah, he did. <laughs> if you gotta do all that, then you know what I mean? People wanna know this shit though. People wanna know the Joey Jahad shit. People wanna know a lot of that shit. They wanna know that. And I told a lot of that. A lot of that was okay, but I had that. I gotta. Mm. A lot of this shit was fan questions too, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's not like I'm trying to kick up old dirt, but you know, I don't. don't, You know, I don't got no filter, no feelings. I don't give a fuck. All I'm saying is, let's talk about relevancy. All the motherfuckers that's popping in 2024 of March 28th. Mm -hmm. You feel me? We on that time, like you know what I mean? Why B C duel? My man. Super disrespectful. Mr. Disrespectful. At the graveyard, digging up dirt. You co-sign that type of shit? All right, so now this is what's going to happen. I just talked to the radio, right? <clears throat> and I don't want to call him a racial attack and shit, but I just talked to the radio, right? Mm. And he's going to do a song with me, and he got he got a song for the girls. So when they hear him on the radio, it's not going to be none of that, what you just said, digging up the graves on the video and all that. It's going to be songs. That's how I'm helping him transition to the radio. You know Because yeah, I mean? that shit just as bad as Charleston saying that. That's the same shit. It's the same shit. That's the shit that Charleston be talking but about. But that's his wave, though. That's his wave. That's how he carrying it. And they jacking him. Mm. He globally known. And I just threw the oop to him for act. He about to go up on act. Mm. And if we can set it up, you know what I mean? Yeah. I bring him down here. Yeah. Well, next time I come down, you know the mm-hmm. thing that we said and all that. Next yeah. time I come down, I'll bring YBC Dude with me. You see how easy that is? Did that take away from me? Mm-mm. For me to bring YBC Dude down here for the next time I come down? Mm. That shit ain't take. Lighting somebody else's candle not going to hurt your candle. It ain't going to, I'm still lit. And guess what? It make me even more bigger. No diddy. Yeah. Now, 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 now I'm the motherfucking, I got the hat on of the board. Damn, no, yeah, no, because I heard <clears> of him through Cook. No, he put the, yeah, no, I, I got the CEO hat on. I got a lot of different hats on. No cap. I be making a punchline as we go. Like, this <laughs> shit just be rolling as we go. Like, yeah. No bullshit, bro. I wear a lot of hats, bro. And you know I'm Pen Griffey. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Everybody know who the songs I wrote for and all that. We ain't about to tip. From the motherfuckers that'll be up and coming to the motherfuckers that's that's already in the industry that made it. Motherfuckers know who, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Shout out Sexy Red, too. We got a uh, couple submissions over there. Yeah. Yeah. I really can't talk. I, I can't get, I can't go into specifics, right? But we got a couple, you know, submissions over there. You submissions? I mean? yeah. What, am I saying the word wrong? Yeah, yeah. Submission. Oh, you submitted some records? Yeah. Submission is a word, though, nigga. Don't make it seem it like is. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> yeah, let me check you. Yeah, submission, yeah. Yeah, we have a couple submissions. We submitted a couple records over there. Yeah. Yeah. Don't make it seem like I'm hooked to fuck on phonics and all that, nigga. I ain't cuz. What are you talking about, nigga? I know I speak, nigga. I ain't hooked on phonics. I speak very well. I'm very intellectual. I was remember I was with you a few times. That's what Aquil mean. Not to cut you off. We're yeah. gonna get right to that. Yeah. The name Aquil means in Arabic, smart, intellectual, and um, what's the last one? Knowledgeable, smart, and intellectual. Mm. That's what Aquil means. Okay. My name means that. Once again, go get the album. It's gonna be out on Apple or all mainstream platforms. How do you feel about the the Pooh Shiesty band in Philly? Um, that's going to Are they, are they even like, um, that's, that's, that's either going, let your duck get, let, let your taco be duck. We call it duck and tacos. Yeah. I made that up. The song is also on my YouTube. You can go stream duck and tacos. Ducking your taco is basically you, oh, who that? You chilling, you, you know, you putting your shiesty on or you putting your hoodie on. You at the, you might be at the airport. You don't want to be seen. You're going to put your hoodie on some. Ladies, y'all might put the sunglasses on, you know, y'all ducking y'all taco. Fellas, we might throw a shiesty on, we might throw a hoodie over that and a jacket over top of that hoodie. We ducking our taco, we want to be off the grid. So, either you going, you said with the shiesties in Philly, to get back to your question, either you going to duck your taco or your taco going to get dumped on. Are they enforcing that? Like, is that like a real thing? What you mean, as far as with the government and the law saying like that the, you can't the, wear them? Yeah. yeah, you can't. You can't. Like, they saying you can't, but it's Philly. Niggas ain't listening to the law. Niggas break the law in mm. five minutes. The fuck they gonna listen to the news talking about a poo shiesty? You think Switch is, is, is fucking up the streets? Yeah, see, we, 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 we grown, so, you know, the kids play with Switches. You know, yeah. we grown. We, you know what I mean? We old school. We walking you down, you know what I mean? Five drinks, you know, on and all that. I say Chris Vegas, you know, we ain't gonna go federal and all that, but, you know what I mean? We say binary, binary now. The, mm. the binary trigger is when you pull it, bang, it's going to shoot once. And then the minute that you release the trigger, it's going to sh- shoot again. It's a binary. That's for adults. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the switches are for kids. They're that for shit's children. fucking up the streets. No, but I'm saying. Niggas is throwing their life away with switches. The kids yeah, are. Yeah, the kids are. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying the different levels of, you know what I mean? Yeah. We grown, bro. We, we playing mm-hmm. with all, you know what I mean? Grown shit and all that. Yeah. So, I mean. 2024 summer, it's approaching. Everybody's talking about you. You're everywhere right now. Mm-hmm. Like I said earlier, you can't drop the ball. Mm-mm. You got, you like you said earlier, you got nine lives. You wanna know what's so crazy? I manifest everything, bro, and I speak everything because I it, it's good energy, it's the good vibrations. I'm praying, you know. Like I said, I'm not a perfect Muslim. I'm not making all five. Sometimes I make all five. Sometimes I don't. But I'm praying and, you know, a loss of Panawata he's just blessing me. So I'm speaking positive into the universe and, you know, the energy coming back and the law is just blessing me. God mm-hmm. is blessing me, you know, because I'm speaking positive. Like, you see what you just said? You said, well, you can't drop the ball. Shit like that don't even come out my mouth. Mm. I just got off the phone with Fatboy SSE. He said, yeah, you about to run up like two million real quick. Mm. Like, if a motherfucker ain't calling my phone talking to me like that, like, yeah, you about to run up two million real quick. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I got this movie for you too. I got that movie for you too, and another two B situation. Mm. Shout out to Fat Boy SSE too. But if a motherfucker ain't calling me with those affirmations and that good energy and those good merits, then I don't wanna. Ain't no. If you call me, yo, cool, you got it, man. Don't fuck up right now. Click. Don't don't say shit like that. Mm. Yo, take this shit to the moon, bro. Real shit. Elon Musk just tweeted you. Sound like him. Mm. Talk to me like that. Don't say no, bro. This your last chance, bro. You <laughs> fucked this up. Like, what? Yeah. Nigga, I've been doing this shit 100 years, nigga. I own the internet. 
Mm. This shit mine, bro. I'm the top carrier. You, you, you see those affirmations? Mm. And somebody, a few people might say, who the fuck this nigga think he is? He cocky as shit. If you don't think yourself of that and you saying all this low vibration shit, that's where the fuck you gonna be at. At a low level. I mean, you, but you the low. one that said you had nine lives and yeah, you didn't been shot at and uh, this happened and I, I overcame that. And, and I also do what? I rebuttal and give the glory to God. Mm. My God. So I pop my shit, but I'm also humble. Yeah. You know? It's a time to pop your shit. It's a time to turn into J. Cole and Farrakhan. What do you got to say to, to all the... Philly right now is like number three as far as like violence and shit. Like, it's a lot of drugs going on. It's a lot of, you know, a lot of everything going on in the world. What do you have to say for the kids that's watching right now? Like I said, man, I'm I'm building my platform, bro. The Quilly Show and all that. Like I said, I I hope my my platform that I could get these kids up here. It ain't no more gems. It ain't no more pow. It ain't no more of that. It ain't no more you know recreational centers. So hopefully they can get up to my podcast and vent, and I could be their therapist. Mm. Cause it's it's not all about rap. You know, talk. This is therapy. Mm -hmm. So if they get up on the Quilly Show, Tanya Sun TV, carrying it with Quilly. Like hanging with Mr. Cooper, carrying it with Quilly, hmm. they could get up there and you know vent like they that. they could vent their feelings to me, and I'm going to be the person that could feel them, no ditty, and I could tell them that some information that could help them. I could reach them. I'm there with them. I'm on the land with them, so I could reach them. They're going to listen to me before they listen to anyone else. Hmm. I just put Sean Cotton on the phone with FS Bender. That is about to be around the whole city. Just that right there. Not because the interview dropped, but because he's about to call 2,600 motherfuckers and tell them what I just did. And the interview is not even out. Mm. Pure heart, man. Meek, Meek should be doing shit like that. Not to bring cuz back up, but yeah, that fuck cake-ass nigga should be doing shit like that too. Yeah. Mm. Shout out to my nigga Smackwater, man. Yeah. Uh, you better copyright that too, bro. Cake ass nigga. Cake ass nigga? Yeah, he should be like, you cake ass niggas and you cake ass nigga this and all that. Yeah, I think he got merch too. He do got merch. That nigga funny as shit, man. So what, rap, I'm wrapped out too? Uh, Yeah, we doing that. We gonna do 12 originals. Me and you gonna, you know, do the split sheets on it. You know what I mean? We're going to figure out what features we're going to get. You, you get your man BDB pack, man, and all that, right? Easy. He'll call it up. Right? So, now look. Look how I'm putting it together. You see how I'm speaking positive affirmations? You see, look at what... Oh, so I was being negative the whole interview? No, I'm not saying that, but I'm just giving you an example of how my life is going. Mm. You understand? Yeah. You get BDF pack, man. It's BFB. BFB pack, man. Right? I was drinking Casamigos, man. I'm a little bit saucy and all that. <laughs> They drop it straight on. They lemon drops right there. Hit you like fucking Tyson in the 90s, you heard? BDB, B, BDF Pac-Man, right? BFB Pac-Man. What'd you say? BFB Pac-Man. Uh, Sauce Walker. Easy. That's my man. And that's my man. Mm. And, and look, I'm I'm down. I'm keeping it Midwest, Texas and all that. Not saying we can't just reach over to Cali and just reach over to New York and all that. But like, mm. you know what I mean? Bro. Imagine that. I'm wrapped out too. Presented by Say Cheese. Crazy. Quilly and Sean Cotton. You should have did I'm wrapped out five, ten years and ago. And then and then look, to keep it clean, right? I got I got 35 original tracks in the cut that's untouched. That's original. Mm. All me on there, right? I could take 12 out of them. That'd be some corny lazy shit. Mm. I'm gonna make 12 brand new tracks. Mm. You understand? I can yeah. easily take, I have 35 tracks sitting. And I can say, well, hun, Sean, that's ball. I got the 12 tracks right here. Mm. They already done. No, it's about relevancy. These 12 tracks, I'm gonna be talking about all the shit that's going on now. Right. You might hear uh, the situations we brought up between Million Dollar Roofing Game and Jones and White and all. You might hear that on that album and all that. Like, it's about relevancy. Mm. Keeping up with what's going on right now. You used to always had you used to always had this one eye shit. Going one on. eye, yeah, 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 yep. Explain that. 
One eye, that's just some shit from the block. That's just something from Haynes Street, you know. Yeah. Shout out Staff, man. Staff, yeah, yeah Staff, yeah. He he said, man, come on, man, you gotta show me some love because I dropped the song One Eye, and I just threw the cover art up and all that, and I forgot to shout him out, and you know, that's just something that we was throwing up on the block, you yeah. know, man. We from the four, and we was just throwing up shit like this, and just just some hood shit, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. People and then you saying, had the county boy shit at one time too. Is that shit still a thing or not? Nah? Yeah, 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 yeah. You asked me. Uh, to go back to your question, look, you see how I remember? Yeah, I'm on it. No ditty. County boy Tone, he back and forth from Philly to Miami. Mm-hmm. He's still doing it. You know, when I was down Miami in the Lamb Shop, mm-hmm. that was Big Bro Joint. You feel me? Right. He doing a rental car service and all that. Hot. You know, I that's keep hot. it clean. I ain't by default. That wasn't my Lamb Shop. It had Pennsylvania plates, but that's because they bought it from my. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's on, hot. Bro. He 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 always uh County Boy Tone always seemed business savvy. That's my brother. That's my yeah. brother. Day one Hain Street sandbox. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Your hood is supposed to have good shit to say about you, you know? Like how you just bought up one of my day ones, man. You could you could go to my hood and it's like even to somebody that's probably like my worst enemy or don't really fuck with me, they still gonna tell you some good shit about me. Like, fuck that nigga, but no, man, that nigga did bring me out to the joint, man, when he shit was probably the club, man. The worst, my worst enemy from my hood still loved me. Mm. Like, my hood loved me, bro. They rooting for me. They loving all this shit right now. Mm. That's how it's supposed to be. Mm. As well as with the whole city, because F.S. Bender's not from my hood. Mm. He's just from Philadelphia. You ain't got to be from my hood. It's, it's my city. Showing love to the whole Philadelphia, bro. It's the biggie. Who, who's some artists in Philly you feel like everybody should look out for? Mm, we already really said it through here. Um, F.S. Bender. Uh, Skrilla. Mm, Skrilla going, he going crazy. YBC Dude. Going crazy. Yeah, but but we, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. Tour. We already said YBC Dude. Tour going crazy. Yeah. Tour got a show coming up right now with uh, Boss Man d about to be in the city. Okay. Hopefully we can get on that too. Reach out. Yeah. Reach out to the people with you. See you get some paper. Man. Tour. He hot. Yeah. Shout out Tour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. For sure. That's what I was talking to you. I thought you said Tour at first. You said Core. I said Tour and Tour. Tour. Okay. Yeah. So Core. Yeah. And tour is about to have a show, right? With Boss Man Dino coming to Philadelphia. Okay. So we gonna see if we can get some paper on that one. Just do some business. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You see, I, you see, I'm just business savvy, bro. I'm all about business, bro. It might look like I might be reckless and you know who minds kamikaze jumping out the jet type shit, but bro, like I'm all business, bro. This yeah. shit business. You, you been you mean? you been saying you, you been saying you heard. A lot uh-huh. lately. Yeah. Just jack and shit. You know? <laughs> yeah, I troll shit. I troll everything. I troll everything, bro. I troll everything. Yeah. Bloody. Like, I ain't no bloody. Yeah, what's the bloody shit? It's just like, you know, it's, it's like you saying that's your buddy, but it's your bloody, mm. you know? You know what I mean? Yeah. D-Thing out in New York, he got his shit uh, muddy. He be like, muddy. You know, right. you my heart and all that. That's his shit. Yeah. Shout out D thing. He just came home. Yeah. Shout out Gumbo and the whole Gumbo mm-hmm. organization and all that. Luca Braz and all that. Yeah. And I do want to say on camera, I'm really proud of you. Uh, it was a few summers ago. It was probably like, I was broke as hell, bro. This had to be like 2000, like 15. Was it maybe between 15 or 17? I was in Philly, uptown with you. Mm-hmm. And we was driving around, and I was hungry, right? But you wouldn't, you didn't want to eat until you got your shot. Mm-hmm. Why you had to say that on camera? Go ahead. Uh, that's real. No, that's real. We, we talked about real. everything. That's real. It's real. No, no, we no. That's this, this Howard Stern shit. But that's shit what real. I'm saying. Like, I'm proud of you because, like, you really overcame a lot of you shit. You see how bad it is? You, I didn't want to eat until I got my shot. Yeah. Did you see how bad that is? Yeah. Don't do drugs, kid. Yeah. That was bad. And then it was like, I didn't even want to eat. I didn't want to eat nothing. Like, oh, you got weight, Sean. Chill, shit. Hold up, bloody. <laughs> no, where you about to go, Quill? Hold it. Just give me a minute. I'm all in the back. We driving project. all around. We driving yeah. all around the city. Like, you hear that? What rapper you know could drive all around the every city? hood looking for it, for that shit? But what rapper you know could drive all around the city? He just said we drove all around the city. Yes, we did. What rapper can do that? Come on, bro. Our yeah. feet was on the land, bro. Yeah. In the trenches, nigga. 
projects, all types yeah. of shit. I'm, Downtown, city, I do, all I that. do want to say that I'm proud of you, man, because it was like documentaries made and um, I forgot the YouTube channel. He does a lot of Philly content. But people counted you out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm just happy to see you bounce back, man. For sure. This is the grace of God. This is the cut of a law. It was meant to happen. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? It's manifestation. It's full to happen. Yeah. You know what, man? Is there anything you want to say before we get out of here? I ain't even going to lie. I don't even want to get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. I love this platform. What, what's, what's something that you want to, like, talk about, though? Like, what's, what's something that you do want to address? Um... Because there were there were viral good viral moments and mm. bad viral moments of, of for you, sure, for sure, like in the sure. Burger King and stuff that I don't yeah. want to bring. But it, it's yeah. public. It's it's out see, there. See, I'm a I'm a, I was in the streets and I'm a street nigga. And my feet on the land, so you know, I could say that you know, I got backdoored. You know, mm. uh, you know, I, I I got shot at. I shot at motherfuckers. I've been mm. through shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like I have a story. Mm. You know. That's a story to tell. Right. I've been through shit. Like, what you mean you got backdoored? Somebody dropped the low? No, all types of shit. It's Philly. Yeah. You know what's going on. I'm talking about the the, viral, the Burger King shit. Like, yeah, all types of shit. Backdoor situation. Mm. You know? So it's like all types of shit, bro. It's like, I'm in the streets. You know? Well, at that time, I was deep in the streets. So it's like, you know what I mean? I'm not in the streets now. I'm more music. And we touring the world getting money. We ain't mm. on that. But when I was knee deep in the streets, that's what come with that. That's what come with that, bro. Mm. And it teaches you a lesson. I mean, mm. experience is the best lesson. What you say when I pulled up? Damn, you got a dog on you. Yeah, I got a dog on me. I'm militant. Mm. We moving sturdy. The army and the navy. Mm. We ain't, we can't just roll. You know what I mean? It ain't like that no more. You ever felt like niggas wanted to, like harm you? Like I don't like to say that word, but. Mm. I feel like the power of the tongue, but you ever felt like niggas really want to do something bad to you? Mm. To keep it clean with you? Uh, not really, because if in Philly, if you really want to do something, <clears throat> you're going to do something. It's going to happen. Yeah. You know? So that's just to keep it real, you know? So niggas cloud chase to try to get a viral moment. That's just the situation, and that's what's going to happen. That's what it is. But mm -hmm. if a nigga want to get you out of here, they ain't gonna get you out of there, mm -hmm. so you know. Cause a lot of people can't come back from going viral. You know, as being a rapper, yeah. sometimes you gotta have a perfect image. Yeah. No, no marks on your resume. But that's what make my story fail. Yeah. And that's what make me go viral because it's like, yo, I got this about me. I got this going on. It's not. It's not a perfect story. I don't all. It ain't all good. You know. And I talk about like. I show vulnerability. I talk about my my fuck ups. I talk about damn, I was slipping on that joint. Damn, I was lagging. I should have tightened up on that joint. I I speak about these things. Mm -hmm. Most people wouldn't speak about none of this shit. You know, you know what? That's real. You know what? Yeah. So I should be real like that, bro. And it's like it show you how to move different. Mm -hmm. You know. And we was out there just chilling. We got the doors up on the land and all that. And I just said, damn, if we was in Philly, it wouldn't have been like this. Mm -hmm. You know? It wouldn't have been like this. It wouldn't have been that much love on that tip, like for us to just be chilling out there, looking all nice jewelry on and shit like that, money on us, nice cars and all that. Uh-uh. But we out here, so it's a different atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You feel me? We wouldn't have, me and Sean Cotton wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to do that for five minutes, just standing on a random block. No bullshit. Somebody would have got the drop. You feel like you came you up. Sturdy. You feel like you came up with the phrase carrying it. Yeah, that's mine. All that shit, mine. You know, I came up with that. You need a uh, watermark. You need a trademark that too. Yeah, yeah. And like you just said, watermark too. I have to start watermarking. Uh, yeah. All my videos all too. Videos, cause so when people copy, YouTube. yeah, when niggas copy the videos, they had a watermark on each one. Yeah. Just like the say cheese that sits at the bottom of all yours. Oh, definitely. I'm learning the game. See, that's another reason why I wanted to, you know. Yeah. Drain you of some of your energy, you know, mm -hmm. get some of your brain. Right. No diddy, you feel me? Diddy. You put me on. Right, you feel no me? diddy. So no diddy. So now as I'm as I'm building my podcast and my streaming services and you know, all of my just, you know, me switching from not just doing music, but having my merchandise, having my team, you know, run the pages and doing certain things when I'm in the studio. I got this it's machines running, you know? 
We just sitting there talking, bro. The whole sea cheese was going. I'm like, damn, this shit crazy. Yeah. It's, a, it's an operation. Yeah. It's a <laughs> I'm glad you got to. Uh, I'm glad you got to witness that because people think that I post on the page. Yeah, and they be and in your I, DM mad as shit. Yeah. Like, damn, dog, what the fuck, you nut know ass nigga, I had, and all that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know you get death threats. I get death threats yeah. and all that. Damn, you ain't shout my shit when, out. Um, like, guess what, bro? We don't see everything. When the Kwani and V shit happened. Mm-hmm. When V shit. When he said he was a cute kid. Yeah. He is a cute little and, kid. And, no dick. And somebody on my team posted that because it was viral on Twitter. And V's got, V's called me and we had gotten a crazy like argument on the phone. I mean, Kwani called me and we got in a crazy argument on the phone. And I'm like, I didn't post that. Like, Kwani weigh 110 pounds. <laughs> Why he talking to you crazy? He can't talk to you crazy. You got a lamb chop with the doors up. He don't got no car. Yeah, I, I can't talk to you. No, 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 fuck that. We went there with Cuz situation. Let's go there with you. Kwani talking to you with all his bass in his voice. He 110, soaking wet. Yeah. We ain't on that. We sitting out there with the doors open and all that. He ain't got no fucking car. He ain't got a Nissan. He ain't got an Impala, nigga. Come on, bro. He gonna talk to you and argue with you. Right? So, nigga, you giving him a platform that he need to be on. Mm. Matter of fact, you ain't going, you ain't coming up here, turkey. You bad, nigga. And I had my Texas nigga slide on you, no biddy. <laughs> Fuck is niggas talking about? I'm connected, nigga. Will you and me ever do a record again? I'm not even worrying about. Why would I want to do a record with him? That shit gonna sell forty four hundred. I'm doing more numbers than that independently by myself, single handedly. You hotter than me right with now? A, with a blindfold on and a, hand, and a, and a one hand behind my back. <laughs> he did 4,400. You hotter than me right now? Is little baby hot right now? Not to me. I just answered your question. Huh? Mm. You think little baby fell off? Is little baby hot right now? Not to me. Icebox. Igloo. Eskimo. <laughs> Elsa. What Anna. You feel like it, you feel like if you want to st- Frozen 2. <laughs> Elsa and Anna. <laughs> you think you feel about some little baby. You feel like if you were in the studio with a little baby, you you could you would help him make some some better records. I just told you I, I'm Penn Griffey. Do you think, uh, bro, you think I just said that for nothing? I'm Penn Griffey. <laughs> Little baby better reach out to me so he can get back on fire. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? What I about had that nigga on fire. What about the baby? See, now he's, he's a part of the cancel culture, so that's something I don't want to play with. Mm. You know? I don't want to play with nothing with that cancel culture. Mm. I don't... You got to know the internet now. You can't stand next to nothing that's been canceled before and you've been playing with, you know, the, the, that community and all that. I ain't standing next to you. I'm cool. Mm. I support that community. Mm. Huh? No diddy. How do you, but, because they say that. Stop laughing. Every that's time, real. every time Lil Baby makes a, releases a snippet of a record. That shit sound like, uh, uh, what's the joint he had with 42 Doug? What's the joint? What's the joint that's popping? Uh, 42 Doug. I don't remember. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. We paid. Oh, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You just said you don't remember. Ain't that fucked up till he said something. When you got to go deep in the crates and remember in your mind and dig through the vinyls of a motherfucker and dust off fucking cockwebs and spiderwebs and all that, they don't need to be mentioned. I'm telling you. Yo, all the shit you talking about, you better come with some heat. This summer, you better come with some heat. I, you know, you, you know, better. You, you putting know, too much pressure on yourself. That's what you, you know. It's, I I like the fire under my ass. No diddy. No diddy. <laughs> <laughs> diddy gonna see that and want to sign you. <laughs> they had his sons on. They had they put his door on the ground. They, this ain't funny. They had his son. They took they took the youngin out. Put both of them in cuffs. Diddy on a jet. I'm like, yo, this shit really crazy. They really they ran through the crib. The you saw the the pool where Meek was sitting in when he said the daddy and uh, the other house they ran in that got the computers out and then when they ran inside the other house the back house like Uncle Phil that's when they found the underground bunker. <laughs> A 
Philly rapper told me, and I'm not gonna say who told me this. A Philly rapper told me that in around 02, 03, they were all chilling together. It was Diddy, a lot of Rockefeller, a lot of state property. Um, and Diddy jokingly asked the rapper that he just signed, would you suck a D for a million dollars? He asked a rapper? He asked a rapper that, that he, that he, that he, I think he just signed or they were about to get signed or they were around. Mm. Yeah, a rapper, mm. a rapper told me that. Mm. That shit crazy, bro. Well, you like, asked. it's a lot of different stories out there. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. just, you know, yeah. just word of mouth. I got to link up with uh, Green. What's the boy named Green? That's his man name? What's his man name? That's Gene. Gene. I be fucking, I, look, I'm fucking niggas name. Right here. This shit crazy. <laughs> Gene. I got to link up with him, man. My inside man to get me to him. We going to figure something out. Yeah. I got a lot of inside. Man. We going to figure something out. No diddy, man. Mm. I'm connected, though. For sure, for sure. Like I said, too, man, I'm going to keep shouting this out, man. Shout out 50 Cent, man, and shout out Tony Rayo, man. You might just hear me, like, on BMF, like, when BMF going off, you might just hear me, like, on like on Raising Canaan when it's going on. Because you know when a song, when it, when a show come on, it's always 50 Cent song. Mm-hmm. But he always give different artists a platform as the show is going off. Don't be surprised if you hear me on, like, BMF or Power. Yeah. Like, and 50 you know, mentioned you, like, 10 years ago. Yeah, Little people yeah. know. Yeah, real rap, man. And I really performed with him and all that. Like, mm. you know what I mean? He just put no ditty up. He tapped mm. in. Yeah. He know what's going on. That's why I, I reposted on my page. Mm. Bro, it's a lot of things going on. I ain't gonna let you know everybody know all my business and all that, but you know. Yeah, man. They said they said uh, Young Miami was uh, transporting pink cocaine. The pink sauce. What, what down the there. You could put the food dye in it. See, now <clears throat> look, you got to have a hand. You got to know what you're doing. That's why I salute young Miami. She was in the kitchen with it. You got to be breaking that shit down the right way. She had the mask on and all that. She really know what she's doing. And then she was, you know, bringing it up, trafficking. You know what I mean? Mm. Have it on the joint. That's pink. You hitting it with food dye, food coloring. Food coloring? Yeah, just to change the color on the joint. It's just a gimmick to have everybody to make it pop. When I was doing my thing with the doors on and all that, we had it blue and green and all that. Pooty, what's up? We ain't on that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't say too much. You ain't on the joint. That's you, bloody though. We yeah. You did cocaine before? The fuck no. Do it look like I'm one of them niggas? That cocaine play isn't. Those? Cocaine isn't. That's a party drug no, though. That's an expensive. Bro, that's, no. Doctors no. do that. Lawyers do it. Am I a doctor or a fucking lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> fuck is you talking about, nigga? Yo, this nigga dude, I was on all types no, of shit. No, cocaine is like shit that niggas do at part. No, that's no, look, 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 look. That ain't how we party, bro. You see, I just hit the gas. All we did was hit the weed. As soon as I hit the weed, I walked in. I did stumble a little bit, showing like, see, I ain't want you to smoke. You okay? I ain't do X. I ain't do a bomb. No, I'm saying I ain't on dope. This ain't fucking like. A lot of a lot of Molly, corporate a like, lot of a lot of corporate people like dentists and doctors and like especially because dentists. it's a rich man's high. No, but listen, it's a luxury of the no, rich no, no, man's high. No, no, like dentists, like they want to be con- like when you do cocaine, they say that it makes you super concentrated. Like you- and, and it's, yeah, you could get an Addy for that, an Adderall. But the strippers do coke though. Mm. Strippers, you keep them up at night throughout the night. Mm. It's not just doctors and lawyers and all that. But yeah, we ain't on no soft. But for her to turn that that coat pink, you gotta have a hand. You gotta be fucking Jeezy folks and all that to be in there. You turning that shit pink, bitch, I salute you. And she held it down and ain't town. That's a thorough bitch. What? Come on, bro, she still ain't rat. Cassie got that bag after 48 hours. He gave her 30 M's. That shit was 48 hours. She said that shit Monday, did he did this and did that. Wednesday, she had 30 M's. Oh, right. Mm. How you feel about Stevie J going at 50? Y'all just put yeah, that on yeah, St. Yeah, yeah. Stevie J just went he's, at 50. He's in the paperwork. They say Diddy. Oh, well, he, he got the pay, he got the, they he say, got the they, essay paperwork? They say, they say Diddy promised him if he was in a t- on a tape or did something with him, that he would make him gr- uh, win producer of the year at the Grammys. So that's why That's why he called him gang them. Go back and look at the video. He called Diddy gang them. Mm. So that's why he said he won't fight 50. 50. Who, who you got for winning? I think 50 been uh, boxing since the 80s. Yeah. I got, I got 50 I got for 50. fucking him up. 
I definitely got. I got faith in him. <coughs> Out of that, if Ak and Meek would have fooled who you had winning, keep it clean. Don't just what? Keep it clean. Out of Ak and Meek, who you thought would have won? I'm, I'm gonna go. Damn, who, nigga, who you got? I told Ak I got him for fucking him up. I I, I told Ak, like you think I got I got you for me? fucking him up. Yeah, you saw the punches he was throwing <laughs> in the joint. Shit, like a nine year old little girl, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like. It feels think, like he got two left hands. <laughs> I shit. think. I think. How much Meek weigh? I got it. Now he see he came down because of the shot, so he had like one forty right now. He had like one forty right now, like with Tim's on, like type shit. Hmm. He lost a lot of weight. He's super skinny right now. That's 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 the back in the day Quilly joint when I was at six and seven. Hmm. Remember that? Mm. Remember how skinny I was? Yeah. Face all sunk in and all that. Not seeing no definition. The glow all on my face stripped off. Mm. Now look at my shit. My shit spinning, glowing. Mm. Feel me? Handsome, man. Quilly, man, I appreciate you sliding, man. For sure, man. We're going to carry it. We got to do a better wrap up than that. We can't just wrap it up like that. If that, if that was the wrap up. You wrap it up. Oh, man, you already know what it is, man. It's the biggest bloody, man. Right here with Sean Cotton, man. Say cheese. Classic get, interview. Get, get, ready for the, get ready for the album, man. I'm wrapped out, too. He say this every interview. I'm wrapped out, too. Presented by Say Cheese, man. We Sean gonna, we, Cotton. We're going to see. What is it? What's your label? 99? 99 OVR. Overall. 99 overall. Like 2K. 99 overall. The highest rating. Listen, 99 overall. That chain crazy, too, bro. I ain't going to lie. That joint hmm. retarded. Say cheese, John Goofy too, bro. Yeah, I fuck around, grab one of them off of the cells from the joint. You feel me? <laughs> Shit like that. You see how I'm speaking in it? Come on, man. Appreciate you, bro.